Unitree just sent me their go-to pro robot dog for the first ever What the Future unboxing. It's also my first unboxing hosting, so if you have any loving feedback, please let me know down in the comments. Let's get into it. Wow. This is a serious briefcase. And we've also got the remote control. Ta-da! All right. Here we've got the charger and warranty information. And this looks like our dog. There we go. Oh boy, it's heavy. Set that right over there. All right, don't know what this stuff is yet. That's part of the adventure. This is Future Jesse just chiming in to say that those pieces go together to form a display stand for the robot. That's the box. I was so excited about the robot dog, I missed the four rubber feet replacements that were also included in the box, as well as this mini remote control that unlocks a special autonomous ability we'll get to try out in our test video coming soon. It's kind of wrapped like a, like a rotisserie chicken a little bit. There you go. Whoa, you can hear that sound. You hear, listen to the legs. So we'll unbox the uh, remote control now. And this is the remote for the Unitree Go 2. And these are the little joysticks you can screw on. The remote looks and feels very similar to the remote control we used to test drive the Unitree G1 and Go 2 back at CES earlier this year. Now let's see if we can unwrap these legs. It says please remove before use so it looks like we're on the right track. There we go. Hello, friend. All right, there we go. All right, we've got some charge on the battery. Now let's see if we can make this robot come alive. You want to short press and then long press this button on the side here. OK, I hear a fan. That sounds like a good sign. The remote control also needed to be charged, so I ended up using my phone instead. Unitree has an app you can use to control the robot dog. It's just looking for a robot dog right now. There we go. All right. Oops. Oh boy. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Let me just. I'm gonna put it out of its misery here. Okay, back to the manual. So we've learned some things. Uh, it, as it says in the manual, body placement is important. And, you know, who wants to take their first steps on an elevated platform that you could fall off? So we're on the floor now, and we're going to try again. Oh, I see. Okay, I got to change some permissions on my phone for this to work. Hang on. Did I mention body placement is important? Third time's the charm, as they say. Green light on the front means that it's starting up. So it's trying to connect. Oh, all right, that is the most successful stand up so far. It says it's connecting. All right, there we go. We are connected. You can see it's got 62% battery and uh, Wow, there's so much stuff that, uh, that we can do here. There's a button that says go, and it loads up the robot's point of view in LiDAR mode. And this slides right into your remote control. I can see what the robot is seeing. Oh, okay. All right, so there's joysticks on the phone that kind of mimic the joysticks on the controller. So you don't actually need the controller to do stuff with it. Welcome to the world, my friend. I'm sorry about the rough start we had. It'll get better, I promise. All right, so there you have the Unitree Go 2 Pro unboxed and set up. There's a little bit of a learning curve to this thing, so I have some practicing to do before we start testing this thing tomorrow. Thanks for watching, 
Stay tuned so that you don't miss our 24-hour test video.